Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to the Ants Canada Ant Channel and yet another ant video which we upload once a week. Yes, thanks to you guys. Um, welcome for all of you newcomers and if you are a return subscriber, thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it a lot. So happy you guys are loving these ant videos and actually it's so great to see so many people into ants. But I wanted to show you a special queen. This here is a laceous queen that I caught. Um, and she's special because she happens to be Laceus Claviger. Now, she is a total queen. She has wing scars, all of that, um, and all of the features that you'll see and hear about coming up later in this video, but she's special. And she's special because this is a social parasite species. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that this queen right here cannot create a colony by herself. She needs a host colony. What Lysias Claviger do is they essentially seek out a host colony. I believe it's Lysias neoniger or some closely related species. Um, and they essentially take over the host colony. They kill the queen um, and then they somehow are able to win the love of the rest of the colony and then the, these workers end up taking care of this queen. Whoops, there she goes, she's trying to escape. Um, and then this queen lays her eggs, which the host workers of course take care of, and those eggs hatch into her workers, which are orange, or yellow, and um, they eventually replace the host workers, and that's how this species starts. Um, so it's a really kind of weird sort of way for ants to start. These social parasites are really something else. Now, I won't be able to start a colony of Laceus claviger, so I'll probably be letting her go. In the past, in many years before, I've tried so hard, and you know, European ant keepers always boast about, oh, it's possible, we've done it, we've introduced a host colony to a queen and you have to use the freezer and all of this you make the introduction while they're cold etc etc but all 12 times that I tried um, it didn't work uh, the queens either ended up not laying the eggs or the queens ended up killing the workers now I assume it's because perhaps I didn't get the host species right or maybe the conditions weren't right who knows um, Actually, the thing about these social parasites is we don't exactly know the exact details of how these social parasites start colonies from host colonies. Some people say they go into the colony and then they kill the queen and they rub the queen all over themselves to kind of take on her scent. Some people say that these queens just kind of hide out in the nest and lay their eggs secretly and then later on they end up killing the queen or they somehow convince the host workers by way of pheromones to kill their queen. Um, there's a lot we don't know. I mean, how are we supposed to know? Are we supposed to follow one of these guys with a camera? Oh, who is this? Could it be a host colony? Time to fulfill my destiny. All right, come on, guys. I, I think I found some food over there, but I'm, I'm just not too sure. Uh, you know, I think if we follow this trail, we can we can get to to the food. You know, so let's go. Whoopee! Excuse me, uh, coming through. Hey, wait a second. You're not one of us. We are not letting you through. Yeah, we're not letting you through. You're not one of us. Yeah, get her! No, wait! On the contrary, my children, I am, in fact, your queen. <laughs> hmm. Mommy? Mommy? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, please accept our apologies, Your Royal Highness. We couldn't recognize you here so close to ground level. Please, come inside. It's not safe for you out here. Yes, yes. Thank you, my children. I am your mommy, and your true colony queen. Meanwhile, back inside the nest... Yes, come in. My queen, your highness, there is another ant in the nest closer to the surface that is claiming she is the true queen. <laughs> Don't be silly, that's impossible. I am your queen. There is no other. See? Mmm, <laughs> yes, it's true. You are our queen. Please forgive me, your highness. I shall spread the news. <clears throat> Attention colony, this is one of your thousands of sisters. We have a very important message. Our true queen is here and intact. Do not believe the pheromones of any strange queen you may smell, no matter how queeny. There you are. What? Wh who are you? What are you doing here? 
How did the majors let you in? I do not know what you speak of, you imposter. I am the true queen of this colony. See? <coughs> oh, blasphemy! How dare you speak to the queen like that? <coughs> Workers, seize her! No, I am the queen. As for you, you imposter, these daughters have no other queen but me! <coughs> no, I am the real queen. I am queen. No, I am queen. I am. I am. I am the one and only queen. Never. You both smell so. 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 Uh, you both smell so convincing, and we do not know who our true queen is. My daughters, I raised you from the moment I built the claustral cell last year. Look at her small gaster. Does it look like she was able to fully sustain herself through the cold winter months and be able to nourish a generation of Nantics on her own? <clears throat> well, I'm sure you may be right, or possibly might be queen of ours. But we trust our antennae, and right now she is smelling quite convincing with her pheromone identification. Yes, because I am your real queen, my children. Now go and slay that fake queen. She is an intruder. No, you mustn't. Smell me. I am your queen. What is wrong with you all? No, she isn't. Get her. Come on, ladies. You heard the queen. Let's get her. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Ah, no. Smell me. I am your queen. No, uh, ah, thank you, my children. Now, let me go get cozy in this room here a little bit. <laughs> my brand new bedroom. Uh, <laughs> I mean, my old, comfortable, and familiar bedroom that I have lived in for all of time. <laughs> See, we don't know. So, for those of you out there who um, have been able to start a species uh, colony of Laceus claviger in captivity, please do let us know how you did it. Um, and we'd love to see videos because that's uh, it's re a really cool way for a colony to start. Another thing that makes the species more challenging is that they tend to feed on ant cows. They have underground root aphid farms where they essentially you know, tend to root aphids and they feed off the honeydew that the root aphids excrete. And this can be sort of difficult to duplicate in captivity. I mean, you would need to have them in a natural setup perhaps, or at least a setup that allows some kind of roots to exist where they can care for these root aphids. Where they get the root aphids, I'm not too sure. Again, one of these mysteries about this species. So that would make this species hard to keep as well. Now, how do you know if it's a social parasite like this, which is a little more complicated and probably won't be giving you a colony without the help of a host colony? Well, social parasites are kind of different from ordinary queen ants in a couple ways. First, their heads are usually large. Um, Laceus Queen ants ha usually have a smaller head than this one here. Um, you'll find that social parasites have large heads and more importantly large jaws, which they need of course to kill the queen and defend herself in the host colony perhaps. So that's one of the ways that I, you can tell that this is a social parasite. They actually have this look. Um, the next way is their gasters, their abdomens. Look, if you look carefully. The abdomen is relatively small for a Laceus queen. Don't know if you could see that. Um, but it's, it is relatively small. A Laceus neoniger, for example, or Laceus niger queen have quite large gasters. But this Laceus claviger has a kind of small gaster. And as a social parasite, she kind of doesn't need a big gaster. You know, like in an ordinary case, a queen buries herself and she goes fasting. She doesn't eat at all for like a month or two while her workers arrive. Well, these social parasites kind of don't have to do that. So they don't need all of that bulk. They don't need 
all of that uh, mass in order to survive two months without food because they kind of just go into a colony and then right off the bat they've got workers, right? So, um, so their design is really suited to to um, to their lifestyle, I guess. So there you have it, Laceus claviger. Oh, they're also known as citronella ants. They smell like citronella. All right, guys, and thanks again for tuning in to another Ants Canada video. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and don't forget to leave a comment. I love to hear from you guys. Finally, be sure to visit AntsCanada.com for all of your ant keeping needs. For those of you who want to make everything simple, we have tons of great, awesome ant keeping setups for you to look at that make it really easy and lead to very big and healthy colonies. So you guys can watch ant spring forth from the queens that you guys collect this season. Thanks so much for the support, guys. Stay tuned for next week's video. Bye. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching our brand new video. Be sure to subscribe if you liked what you saw. And don't forget to check out our ant tutorial playlist, which is super helpful if you want to get into ant keeping. And also, don't forget to check out our Solenopsis Geminata playlist. Finally, don't forget to visit us at antscanada.com. We've got tons and tons of info. We've got a great forum full of thousands of members from all over the world who love ants, who keep ants, and I particularly urge all of you guys who do have ants to journal in the journal section. And I know a lot of ant keeping hopefuls also love to read your journals and learn from your experiences. And finally, for those of you who are catching a lot of queens this year, for those of you with like 90 queens, I see a lot of you guys posting. It's crazy. Please be sure to join our GAN project where you can sell ants to people in your city. We're essentially like the Uber of ants. We find people in your area who would like to buy your ants and we simply hook you guys up. It's a great way to make money doing something you love and it also helps promote the ant keeping hobby. That's it guys, thanks so much. Stay tuned for next week's video. Bye.